What's up, my niggas? Merry Christmas to you all who do celebrate that is. I know there are definitely going to be some people that aren't really with the holiday season like that. You celebrate something else, or maybe you just don't like them in general. Either way, I want to wish you a very happy, healthy holidays. And if you don't celebrate, then I still want to wish you a good time regardless because it's the end of the year. 2015, big time. So, I mean, I mean excuse me, 2014 was a big time, at least for me. So, I mean, I'm hoping that you know even if you aren't celebrating something that you're sitting down you know you're thinking about life and I'm um, thinking about how you can move on and become a better person as time goes on you know all that typical society bullshit but um anyways guys so um I hope you're I hope you're having a good Christmas you know today is a day to really be with family or people that you care about you know not necessarily family meaning you know people in your bloodline but anybody that you could deem co close to you people that you find yourself most comfortable with I'll tell you honestly, I don't really get along with a lot of my family, and it's most, uh, you know what, rather it's not me getting along with a lot of them, a lot of them I just don't like, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, for one reason or another, there's just a lot of family members of mine that I just don't like, and I guess that's normal, you know, I mean, I guess you could say it's somewhat of a controversial thing to say, it's kind of messed up, you know, how can you say that, but it's true, you know, I can count probably on one or two hands how many family members who are actually blood related to me, I get along with. No, fuck that. One hand. One hand I can count how many of them I get along with that I actually like. And everybody else in my family that I do like is people that I'm not really blood related to. So for example, I have an aunt, Aunt Anne, who I love to death without, and, but she's not actually my real life aunt, but she's a really long time friend of my mother. And she's significantly older than my mother too, old enough to be my mom's mom. So my aunt Anne is kind of like my grandmother in a way, but I don't really call her my grandmother, but she's amazing and I love her to death. Like I would do anything for my aunt Anne. I call her Auntie Anne. You know what, hey, hey, you know what? Even though, you know, yeah, she's my Auntie Anne. I call my mom mommy, okay? I still call my mother mommy. You got a problem with that? And it's not even about being a punk. I don't live with my mom anymore. I don't live with my mom anymore. I'm off doing my own thing, but I still call my mother mommy because that's what I feel most comfortable with. You got a problem with it? Fight me, bro. Fight me, bro. <laughs> but, um, as you guys can hear, there's a whole lot of holiday cheer going on in the background. <laughs> Everyone in here is feeling it right now. To be honest, I'm not even all with the Christmas spirit right now myself. I'm all right. I got a little bit of it. You know, actually, no, no. You know, I, I, I got some holiday spirit in me, but I got a little Scrooge in me at the moment. You know what I mean? But I'll be all right. But you know, blah, humbug, nigga. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not, I wasn't really feeling the holidays too much, but now the day is here. I'm feeling goddamn good. I'll tell you guys honestly. And you know what? I can vibe with it got presents, giving people presents, it's a good time all around. I got a damn Kirby Amiibo for the holidays, so you know what? I'm fitting to get into the lab with this dude and putting some serious work to get my Amiibo up to the standard. So I mean, what did you guys get for the holidays if you celebrate them? What was in your wish list? Did you get everything you wanted or did you get a fucking lump of coal in your stocking? I want to know what you guys got. Um, in terms of the new year. I don't know. I'm not really going to be doing too, too much. I'm going to try to see if I can go to a rave. And um, by the way, if you live in New York City, you know of any raves going down, let your boy know. I'll definitely come through. Just kind of like how I came through the Nebulous. But I mean, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really just taking it chill for this Christmas. I'm going to probably go see my mom at some point, though, visit her because um, she has a new place now, which I helped her get. I'm really happy that I was able to help her move like that. My mom really needed it, a change of pace, you know, and... Um, I want to also, I want to I wanna visit her, you know, do a little bit of cooking and whatnot. So, I mean, hey, it, it'll be fun all around being the girlfriend, too. We all have a blast. I got my girlfriend a really nice present, too. I'm not going to say it on camera because I don't know if she'll see this before she opens it, but I got her something really nice that'll help with um, ergonomics when it comes to her using the laptop. So, you guys can sort of guess what it is from what I said. But, I mean, yeah, man, it's still going to be a great holiday season. You know, like I said, I got some Scrooge in me, but... It'll be all right, you know. I'm still a little bit bah humbug about me not having my own place yet, but you know these things will come, especially thanks to the YouTube channel. We are looking at 66,000 subscribers, going on 67,000 right now, a very strong number to have, considering that that number kind of boosted up towards the end of this year. So we're going into next year with a whole lot of um, power behind um, the Etika World Network in terms of our fans, in terms of the daily amount of subscribers we get, and the views have been crazy. And they've definitely been there, you know. Thanks to you guys, I've been able to um, have a pretty damn nice check. Not something I can ball out with, but you know, something in the range of where, you know, I can survive and have a couple few luxuries as well, too, at the end of the month. 
and still manage to keep myself alive for the rest of the month with a little bit of food. Cheap food, <laughs> as little as possible, but you know, still a good amount. I want to thank you guys for that. I wouldn't be able to do that without you. Although, to be honest, you know, as much as I can say I didn't expect this to happen, I, I'm, I'm not even going to fucking lie to you. I expected it 100%. I knew that I had the passion to work with YouTube, and I knew that I could attract the audience, and I knew I could sort of give content out there that a lot of you guys would like. It was just a matter of applying myself, giving myself discipline, and letting myself know that I can do this, which I still have problems with sometimes, but you know what? I'll get over them, and they're not going to overbear on my progress. So, but I still do appreciate you guys though, you know, this is all part of the plan. That's why, you know, I don't really glorify my subscriber milestones as much because I know for a fact that we're destined for something greater, you know, we're trying to get something more. 100,000, then you'll see a real celebration from me. But you know, 66,000 is still a very nice number to be at. I'm just waiting for the point where it hits 666, 666, or 66666, yeah, that would be hilarious. But um, yeah, this is just basically a video of just me saying happy holidays, and I'm hoping you're having a great time, and um, I'll see you guys on the flip side with whatever kind of video I decide to do. Once again, I want to give you a big thanks to the guys who are doing the gaming videos. I mean, excuse me, the guys who are waiting for the gaming videos. Thank you for being so patient with your boy. The gaming videos are going to be on hiatus for a while, but like I said, they will be returning once I'm able to get my own place next year, early next year, so everything should be fine in that regard. And also, I want to give a very special holiday thank you to Cobound Armani456. Dude, you've helped me in more ways than you can imagine. Thank you so much, man. You really helped to make things work out in terms of, you know, the Wii U and everything else. You know, it's amazing, and I'm really glad that I met you as a friend, man. Just wanted to put that shout out out there. You know, I know all you guys are already like, you know, Kobe, man, you, you owe him your life at this point. <laughs> yeah, man, you're right. Kobe's been there for me. He's helped me out so much. So um, thank you, Kobe. I really appreciate it, dude. But um, anyways, I have a lot of other people to be thankful for as well, too. Uh, my amazing girlfriend, who I would not make it through without, and uh, my mother as well, too, giving me so much support in the beginning of my YouTube career. I'm um, sure I had to kind of cut her off for a little while, but after after we got past all those little rough patches, we're, we're we're as close as we could ever be right now. My mother and I, I we, we are like this right now. So I mean, hey, either way guys, I wanted to, I'll talk to you guys later on. Once again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa. Um, enjoy the time with your friends, family, and loved ones. And I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.